happening. Um, this is how everything started. The EU Commission said there are too many labels available. It's difficult to understand. We can't use all of them. We need one. Let's develop a new. Uh, this was uh, 2003 uh, when the European Commission declares that LCA, life cycle assessment, is the best tool available to assess environmental performance of products. Uh, so therefore, European Council asked the European Commission to develop a harmonized method. It should be based on LCA and as a part of single market for green products. Uh, the work to develop a common methodology started and it was 2013, almost 10 years ago. Um, after the start, um, a five-year pilot phase followed. And during this pilot phase, uh, different product groups, uh, 24 product groups were chosen to further develop the methodology uh, and um, uh, around these categories. Um, we are now in the transition phase uh, where uh, everything is analyzed, uh, methodology uh, are fine-tuned and there are a lot of discussions how to use this development in policies, etc. Um, when I start to use this slide, it said transition phase ends uh, end of 2021. We don't see this date anymore, but uh, let's hope it will uh, soon finish and we can uh, continue the work. Uh, so during this pilot phase, um, there were uh, product groups selected to further develop the methodology. And these are the product groups that reached the goal to have a finalized PEFCR, PEFCR, PEF category rules for, for this uh, specific product. Uh, as you can see, it's very different types of products, but um, yeah, it's still just uh, around 20 of them. So of course there are so many more products available in the so society and in Europe. PEF is uh, based on LCA standards, uh, ISO 14040 and 44, that many of you are familiar with, uh, but it's also more details to come. Uh, it follows the ILCD and it's a specific environmental footprint guide. A link to that, it's a PEF CR, the product environmental footprint category rules that give more details how you perform the LCA as a, as a basis for, for the PEF. On top or uh, at the bottom in this picture, there are also tools developed, tools and specific database uh, with data sets selected. So it should be easy for, for companies and also for small and medium companies to, um, uh, to develop a PEF and to use this methodology and framework. And um, everything is based on having an uh, a comparable methodology, transparent and um, consistency, uh, consistency behind it. So there are a lot of, of details. Um, but if we look um, uh, a little bit from the outside, what has really been developed? Is it only 20, around 20 product uh, category rules, a very detailed methodology that has been developed during all these years? Uh, I would say this is just the top of, of the iceberg, uh, but there have been so many discussions around in Europe, in these sectors, around details in LCA methodology, around the product itself, that would never have happened without this in, in, in initiative. So it's much more that has been developed than just a, a few uh, category rules and a very detailed methodology. It's an understanding and awareness of a life cycle uh, perspective and uh, LCA uh, that was not before the PEF was started. Uh, now we move into something uh, more familiar maybe. Uh, I think many of you listening now uh, uh, are aware of environmental product declaration, EPDs. And um, yes, there are similarities, but there are also differences between these initiatives. Um, PEF is relatively new, uh, even if it has been under development for, for some time. Um, 
uh, but EPD has been there more than 20 years and it's now fully operational and uh, globally available. So it's much more mature uh, program. Uh, if we look at the application, how we are going to use the PEF and EPD, the primarily use for PEF is, is, uh, is for policy making, but it was also said from the beginning that other uses are being discussed and that's what's happening during the transition phase as well. Uh, for EPD, the main goal is to have, have uh, the declaration in a business to business communication, uh, but can also be used for public procurement, eco design, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, both initiatives are independently verified by a third party reviewer uh, and there are rules, uh, but the rules are slightly different. So we have PEF based on PEF guide and the EPD based on ISO 14025, the general program instructions and the category rules called PCRs in the EPD systems. Um, when we come to generic data sets, uh, um, there are specific data sets selected for PEF. As I mentioned, a database will be available with PEF data, and that's not uh, available for EPD. There you can use any data that is useful. Um, PEF has also introduced a benchmark a ranking that you compare your performance, the product's performance with uh, uh, with a standard or an average. And this is not at all uh, involved in the EPD, which is not just a declaration and no ranking. So um, yes, there are similarities. Uh, you see the purpose, the LCA based product environmental performance declaration. Uh, the the uh, aim to have them comparable uh, with very detailed uh, guides and, and frameworks. And it's a very strong product perspective, uh, which covers many products, not just a sector or a few products, but uh, more or less everything. Uh, but there are also differences. Uh, they have different uh, frameworks behind them, and it's differences in the communication format. The PEF communication is still not uh, fully developed, but um, uh, as I mentioned, the benchmark is part of the discussions for communication of a PEF, which is uh, not for, for the EPD. And there are also technical details that are different in the methods. For example, how you should do the allocation uh, differs uh, between the methodologies. So there are, or even if they are LCA based, there are also differences in the methodology.